How to teach your dog not to bark. Episode 1, Barking at Noises. Both of my dogs don't bark at very many things. But however, when our washing machine broke, I found out that my chihuahua became very reactive to the washing machine. Dogs bark for many reasons, whether it be anxiety, arousal, fear, nervousness, irritation. They're barking to communicate an underlying problem. If you don't address the underlying problem and instead punish the communication, punish the barking, you still get that underlying problem, but you don't know about it because the dog's not telling you. Step one, change your dog's emotional response to the stimuli. Here you can see I'm clicking Kiko for being calm in the area that she usually barks. The washing machine is not on and she's getting clicks and treats for just hanging out in that area. This conditioning exercise will give her a head start for the next step which is adding the noise of the washing machine. Step 2, working from low levels of criteria to higher levels. Here I'm using Pavlovian conditioning, pairing the sound of the knock with a treat. The same with Pavlov's dog that drooled because the owner paired the noise of a bell with food. The dog started to really love the sound of the bell. So in the same way, I'm pairing the noise that comes from the washing machine with food. So I'm changing Kiko's emotional response to that noise where before she thought it was a scary, terrifying noise or an arousing noise. And now it's just the signifier that something good is coming. Therefore, there's no need to bark at the noise. You can either use just the noise itself to signify the food is coming, or you can click and feed. If you notice your dog is nervous or starts barking, you're going too far too quickly. You need to lower the criteria. So for instance, you could stand in the other room feeding a treat for the noise, or clicking and feeding for the noise, while someone knocks on the washing machine in the distance. And then just bring the dog closer and closer. Adding criteria. The new criteria is that the washing machine is now on, making the scary noise. I am clicking and treating Kiko for remaining calm in the presence of the noise of the washing machine. We will get closer and closer to the washing machine while she's still under threshold. If she ever were to bark or react to the washing machine, that would mean we were going too far too quickly. I didn't edit out this part in the video because it shows you that I moved too quickly at this step and Kiko became reactive, so I moved further back, where she could succeed. The final result is the dog being in the presence of the stimuli without worrying about it. Dogs bark because they are over-aroused. Startling a dog by saying no or shaking a can of pennies can actually cause stress hormones to be produced. So even if the barking is suppressed, the dog is actually more aroused than before. Here are some tips. 1. Identify what causes the dog to bark. 2. Reinforce the dog during those situations before the dog thinks to bark. 3. Interrupt your dog when they are barking. Call them to you. Change direction if on a walk so that the barking is not reinforced. 4. Prevent barking when you are not around. Leave the TV on. Don't allow the dog access to what they usually bark at.